In tonight's health alert, a new treatment for rectal cancer has triggered remission in patients in a clinical trial. Researchers called the results breakthrough findings after tumors disappeared. Here with the details is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. Dr. Nandy, thank you for being with us. A drug that makes cancer vanish sounds incredible. It also sounds a little bit unbelievable. What is this treatment and how does it work? Yeah, and I'm not there in the studio with you because I was actually taking out a large, large polyp that could have been become a rectal cancer. So I'm excited to share this great news. And, and you have to remember the results of the study sound amazing, but I do want to stress Brian, that this is a small study. Only 14 patients took part. It was conducted by Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. And the participants that were selected all had advanced rectal cancer with the rare mutation uh, called mismatch repair deficiency, or MMRD. Now, the experimental treatment, Brian, that was given to patients in this trial is called an immunotherapy drug called dostarlimumab. And, and dostarlimumab is an anti-PD-1 monoclonal antibody. And what it does is exposes cancer cells by removing the shield that cancer cells put around them so the immune system can actually find them and destroy them. Now, the patients received this drug every three weeks for six months, and after treatment wrapped up, amazingly, there was no evidence of tumors. This is kind of unheard of, right? Researchers could not find any sign of rectal cancer. By physical exam, what I do, which is called endoscopy, biopsy, PET scan, or MRI scan. So far, there's been no progression or recurrence of the cancer during follow-up, which ranges between six months and 25 months after trial ends. So that's, that's super exciting for someone like me. All right, I have some follow-up questions for you, Doc. Uh, do patients need any radiation or chemotherapy? And what about side effects? And also, maybe most importantly, are these patients now considered to be cured? important question. So none of the patients, Brian, needed the standard treatments, which is surgery, radiation, chemotherapy. That's incredible. Why? Because rectal cancer patients often, right, need these kind of treatments. And I know too well as, as a practicing gastroenterologist, surgery and radiation can be life-altering. Patients can end up with bowel problems, urinary and sexual dysfunction, and reproductive organs can also be affected, resulting in lifelong infertility, which which is horrible, right, after after getting uh, a diagnosed like cancer. As for your other questions, researchers reported that none of the patients had serious side effects or complications from the experimental drug dostilumab. And, and no, it's not clear yet if the patients are officially cured. Longer follow-up has, has to be done to answer this. Plus, we need a larger clinical trial to see if these results can be replicated. One last thing I'd like to mention, it's really important. Rectal cancer is common, Brian, in patients over age of 50. But I'm seeing younger and younger patients with this disease. So if anyone develops bright red blood in your stool, abdominal pain, unexplained weight loss, or feeling like your bowel's not emptying uh, completely or having bowel movement changes, talk to your doctor. Rectal cancer, we can still cure it, especially if we detect it early. But this is uh, this could be a game changer, and we'll we'll keep uh, you know you updated on it and let you know what we find. All right, Doc. Thank you so much. Hope that surgery uh, for went well for your patient. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. All right. And if you have a health question for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com, or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.